Hi everyone! So, today I thought I would try uh, something a little bit different. Uh, a swipe in the, not the length side, but the width side. But I want to create something like a bit of a abstract coral reef or something like that. I have uh, with me some colors I mixed to do that. And I have more plans um, afterwards for the coral part, but uh, I'll have to experiment on experiment on some things before I do that. And in my plan, I I think it will be better to add it once this pour is dry anyway. So to do that today, I have mixed my paints usual the usual way. It's um, I have a oh uh, four fluid acrylics, thirty percent paint, seventy percent medium, and then ten percent water in the yellows and the interference violet, and no water in the cobalt blue. The interference violet is uh, the reason I painted my canvas um, from black to pale gray and left some parts white. Uh, it's a color made by Golden Acrylics that um, changes colors. Well, not changes colors, but shows differently depending if it's on black or white underneath. So I thought that we could experiment with that. By painting parts of my canvas black and parts of it gray and leave some parts white and we'll see how the color changes if it does we'll see it might be fun and finally I have one high floor acrylic pyro orange it's one part high floor acrylic two ten part medium and then a dash of water and that's it uh, so I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that all right, so the plan is to have the cobalt blue on top and the other colors on the bottom to create the reef. The cobalt blue I want to be on top and it will take most Yeah, it will take the most place, most room in the painting. All right, so my colors are placed on there and I have my swipe board here. I will move my dots out of the way.
All right, so it turned out okay, just not as uh, much cells as I thought there would be, or details. Not just uh, cells. So what I'm doing right now is just dipping that massage tool in the interference violet and I'm going to add details with it After that, I can just come back and add whatever details I feel like on that part and more details on that part and we'll see how that goes. I want to just make sure that my water is not just one color and it looks somewhat realistic too, just a little bit at least. And yeah, now what I'll do is afterwards I'll come back with a brush once it's dry and paint uh, a reef here and I'm going to add some painting, painted details around here as well and I want to make it a bit uh, of an effective perspective too, um, give it a, a bit of depth and maybe I'll paint like um, some kind of sea animal in that corner here. Um, we'll see about that. I'm not sure what just yet it's going to be. Uh, but I'll think about it and if you have any suggestions just leave them in the comments for me and I would be happy to read them and see what you guys thought about as a sea animal. I'm kind of curious. And we're back! And as you can see, I am in sweats. It's uh, still warm here. Um, we've had a heat wave uh, for the last uh, couple of days. It was uh, really too hot to paint. And now today is borderline, but I really have to uh, get this video out for tomorrow. Uh, so I have to paint it now and um, Hope that it dries okay. I, I find that the heat will sometimes uh, mess up the viscosity of the paint and um, also make it dry too fast at time and um, that will result in painting that either moves a lot more than usually or uh, paintings that dry too fast and crack and or craze and I don't like that <laughs> and I'm betting that none of us does so yeah I try to avoid painting when it's over uh, 30 uh, centigrade um, and yeah so basically what I'm trying to say is we won't have pictures of the this painting um, on the outro but I plan on making a part two on this one, so we will see it once dry uh, in a future video. And uh, that could even be Friday's video. We'll see how long it takes to dry and we'll see uh, if I figure out the dendrites uh, before that. Uh, yeah, because I plan on... Uh, 
putting dendrites on there if I can figure it out, but I, I'm not sure I will. We'll see. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a lot of rambling. Uh, so, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It helps me out. Um, let me know in the comments what you would like to see as an animal on there. Uh, in that corner here. And also, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!